because it's time to head into night three and uh, and cross our fingers. I'll proc back protection here. Oh, thank you for the follow, uh, Lo. Much appreciated. All right, so good news and bad news, it seems, over here. So the good news is... Oh, see, see, see the way these mist sensors kind of ruin your fun? Uh, our last action, no previous damage type for a last action. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to get rid of... I'm gonna get rid of the mist sensor. I don't think we can afford to float it. There we go. Now we can at least... Uh... Ah, if we move over one, maybe we can get... Can we get a shot at you? Eh? No? Ah, uh, the line of sight issues. I tell you what. Maybe we, maybe we save our uh, our resources for the moment. And we just uh, see what we can do to tear these, these fools down the old-fashioned way. Oops. And then... I feel like I lost some movement there, but that's okay. Well, so the only reason that we can dispose of them quite easily, you can see in the lower left, uh, I don't think I'm covering it, they have a thousand hit points. I went to the trouble last night of going around to every one of them and taking them down to sub 100 hit points so I can get rid of them. Uh, it still takes an action, but uh, yes, it is. Uh, there, there are certainly ways that you can mitigate the, uh, the trouble that they're going to cause, uh, but... Uh, but yes, don't, uh, don't be fooled. They, uh, yeah, they, they take up a lot of resources. <laughs> um, all right, and this will proc our back protection. So now we have a tough choice. Is Durand going to solo? And I'm going to move you over to help out with the melee side of things. I think I'm, I'm initially going to move over this way. Because I'm... Uh, we can't. We couldn't quite get as far as I wanted to, unfortunately. I kind of wanted to. Oh, this guy is going to be a problem. Well, we're going to transfer to get this character out of the out of the way. I think. Yeah, we'll kind of transfer over this way. I think. I don't think we're going to take any hits from anything over here, and then we can start working on this. And Jacob's going to help over here. This side's gonna be a little rough. Yeah, so so the strategy that I've come up with that I think is uh, is solid low is on night one, you tank a single enemy outside of the walls and that particular enemy you, uh, while you hold that enemy stationary, you run around and you beat all these sensors to within an inch of their life. Uh, it is, one of the things that is problematic, I'll, I'll just call it problematic, but the, uh, actually, let's get these two, is that that is a very tedious activity, uh, obviously, I think, as, as you can imagine. Uh, let's see, this is going to use... All right, we're just we're just gonna we're spending spending like we're made of mana. I think is the the rule of the day. All right, and then if we can do that, we can get out here, get ahead of things a little bit, and then yeah. So they stay over rounds, and every if after you kill them, they disappear for three rounds, and then they come back. So. The, uh, the short version is, no, they do not go away forever. And uh, yes, it's, uh, it's a little heartbreaking. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to use a blaze here. You're connected to stuff, but you can't see stuff. So let's, let's do that one. Okay. Let's see. So the, our last our last damage type now was melee. So I'm going to do that. Wow. 
I really did not retreat as far as I wanted to. I'm worried that we're about to start seeing the flaw in my plan, which actually, if I undo your movement... Oh, Scorpion, thank you for the follow as well. Much appreciated. So what I'm thinking right now is I'm thinking yet again, I do the transfer here. I hate to do it. It's not, it, it doesn't seem like what I should be doing with my time, uh, but but I keep I keep over committing. I keep over committing with this character over here. Now we got some free actions. So what was our last attack? Last was pre our previous was that. So let's uh use the hand crossbow and then for our last action we can just kill both of these so i think that's the play but then we can we can run away a little bit uh they respawn after three nights uh low you like scorpions doodle love to see it okay i think we're gonna take a bit of a hit there uh, now, it may be time to start thinking about using some catapults to soften up things, but I'm going to hold off for a second. I probably should have destroyed this sensor when I had the chance. Ooh, that's not great. Yeah, so they they hang around not for that long, but this, actually, yeah, this side's going to need all of the catapult help it can get, I think. And I think I need I think I need to overlap this a little because I need some bodies just to go away. Hmm. I think we're gonna get better opportunities with this one, so I'm gonna use this one instead. Yeah, I think that's the I think that's the shot. We clean out a few. I don't think we need the second one here right now. So I think we use it here instead. Also, okay, uh, I, there's kind of two answers to that question. <laughs> so previous damage was range, so let's do that. My, my, the most powerful build, uh, oh, Lucas, uh, the most powerful build from my perspective, I'll get to your message in just a second, Lucas. Uh, the most powerful build is hand crossbow. Uh, and it's, it's kind of boring because that's the whole build. Uh, it's just hand crossbow, uh, but it's wildly powerful because of the synergy that comes with... Uh, how far can you retreat? Okay, that's probably fine. Uh, that comes from... It's the only multi-hit attack that is also propagate, and those two in concert are just uh, too powerful to... Uh, too powerful to, to overlook. Okay, and that should be a safe retreat spot. Now, over here, I think it's... You don't get much better than that with a... With a... <laughs> with a... With a death ray. Uh, that was that was satisfying. Yeah, so, so that, is, that is the most powerful build. I think my favorite build to play is uh, Dagger Sword. I think Dagger Sword is just incredibly fun. Uh, you have a lot of mobility. You have that little touch of momentum on the side. Like it's just a, it's a good, it's a good combination of things. I think. Okay, now we're just gonna be, I think, doing our best to kind of just clean up here. I don't know. Uh, I don't even like where I ended up. I kind of wish that I had been able to get that guy in that last attack. It was kind of a waste of a spear attack. Now, next turn, I think I'm going to be using this catapult to bolster over here. But we'll see. Now, Lucas, you were saying, uh, worse than I understand their function... Uh, so I don't I don't know that that is their function if we're being honest. So I I think that I mean I guess it is. 
it, it is and it isn't. I feel like the the function of of the sensors is just to make it so certain builds aren't totally dominant, right? Propagation isn't totally unstoppable, except I'm a good combination of things. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay. That, that was the last of our mana. That's gonna, that's gonna really slow down the, uh, the goodness that we are currently doling out. I fear. Okay, was our last attack melee? No. Last attack was ranged, so let's just give you a little stab, and then... That's it. That's a great... That's a great bit of help. Now, we just did a ranged attack, so let's get in this little hidey hole. Get our melee on. Okay. This is just a this is this is a nightmare. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's uh there's nothing good to say about what's going on here. And I think I just need to firefight a little bit over here. That's the end of my movement. I want to end on back protection. So I think I'm gonna move to there. Now this, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna slam this as hard as I can. I have played uh, Stone Shard Scorpion. Uh, I have not played it since, cause it, it did release, right? That did happen. Uh, I, I have not played it since release. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it, and then actually, yeah, we need to we need to come over here because let's, because we're we're falling behind on the other side of things. But yeah, I I really like it. Stone Shard is totally like my type of game. Uh, still in alpha. Okay, I I feel like there was a major content patch or something. I feel like I saw people playing it again on stream and. Generally, people only seem to stream things when they, uh, when there are updates, you know? There's there's kind of that hype when you initially, uh, when a game initially releases, and then, and then things die down. All right, so let's see. Last attack was range damage, so let's just stab you, and then put one there, and I guess one here. That was uh, that was not the way I wanted that to propagate. You may be surprised to hear. Really, one off lethal on that one. That was a lot less actions than I was hoping for. Uh, we did get this cleared up of exclamation points, but it was uh, it was a little ugly doing it. Okay, we can kill you that way. Okay. We kind of got there. I think we're just going to start taking structure damage, though. I don't think we have... I don't think we have enough damage, especially now that our mana is basically zeroed. Oh, that's awful. These guys are going to push us over the limit of City Panic, unfortunately. Yep. It is not flickering, I will tell you that much. All right, well, what can you do, right? Focus on the isolated targets. Oh, uh, let me let me find it for you really quickly. Uh, I can find it. Uh... And I would be happy to. Does that work? Oh, interesting. That's not working. Okay, so... 
That did not work. Okay, so if you are interested, this is the uh, the perks in depth. There you go. And then also, if we go for patch notes, April 15th, th that would be this one. There you go. That be the two videos. Hopefully that helps. Sorry, uh, sorry, it wasn't easier to find them. Uh, you know, it hits a lot of stuff. Uh, this the spear certainly hits a lot of stuff. Um, but this is uh, we're we're in a bad way at the moment. I think uh, clearly. Yeah, I think I think running out of mana has uh, has kind of wrecked us. We'll get you out of the way. Also, the the momentum on Rush is quite good. So there's a there's things to like about the spear. I uh, it's it's not shining for us right now to be sure, but I think we're just we just ran out of steam, unfortunately. Now we just did a multi a crossbow hit. So we should come over here and do this and then do that. I'm a little sad because I was I was hopeful that we were gonna get a chance to play with uh with flexibility, but at the moment I think we're we're in a bad enough way that I'm not uh not convinced we're gonna we're gonna have this one be recoverable. So you're saying you you think that the weak one is the is the three in a straight line one scorpion, which I I can certainly see the the argument for it. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's strong. I do think three in a line can be very strong. Like I think that's the that's the thing about a lot of the weapons is like you know like in this case yeah we're not getting it but like when you pair it with an axe so that you have like three in a line versus three horizontal there's there's value to be had there oh. not having fatality on a melee hurts too uh only the only the two block has momentum so only rush has momentum but it's usually enough to uh to get things going I shouldn't have done that. I should have. I should have not done that. That's. Are we out of action points? No, we're just out of, out of good attacks. Now this is not great. Last action was physical damage. This is disheartening. Yeah, small axe. Small axe is your favorite weapon. Interesting. I think dagger is my favorite weapon. I just think it's so cool. Okay, so we'll do that, and then... We really just need more help over here, but we're losing that side of our base. At the moment... Things are not great. Boy, do I miss a... Uh... Why am I... Why am I hitting that guy? Okay. Yeah, the dagger is just fun, I feel like. I like big numbers, right? Who doesn't like big numbers? All right, 
that was not we didn't quite get there pistol is your favorite lucas wow that is uh that is a hot take i uh, i like it though let's see let's uh multi-hit two on skewer is so rough Hmm. I kind of feel like I come over here and just try and get a few hits in. All right. Well, we're probably not going to lose, but we might lose this house. Ooh, close. All right. It looks like at least our infrastructure is going to be intact after this. Which is more than I, uh, I expected. Actually, I shouldn't say that. That's uh, that's asking for trouble. Okay, get rid of you. Things like that make the the three long attack feel far less lackluster. Uh, you know, when you get that when you get that juicy three kill off of one, like I think the spear did insane work this turn, uh, for sure. Compared to uh, let's see and now. Have you already moved? You've already moved. All right. So we really are kind of. We're donezo. All right. That was some, that was some peg to 11 panic. Uh, but certainly I've, I've had victories that have had panic nights, but we're a little far behind and I'm not sure. Did we lose anything? No, we still have seven workers. So... We did lose a catapult here and a catapult here, which is uh, is bad for business, to be sure. And we're getting it from two sides, unfortunately. Did we kill any sensors? We killed one sensor. Ugh, and it barely helped us. Let's see. So it's gonna be it's gonna be another one of these. Gosh, remember when we, when we had a wall here? <laughs> ah. I remember. Push back the the mist. That's another thing, uh, low. If you're if you're curious for other tips, I still believe, and this is you know every mileage may vary. Everyone has their own opinions, but I think that early seer is your best friend. Creating distance between you and the baddies is just uh, there's there's nothing better. Okay, so we have 158 gold. Not nearly enough to do anything too interesting. Let's do our level ups just to see what we're what we're working with. Uh, so I would normally go for the fourth tune uh, on day four, which is tomorrow in this game. It, it's not happening this time around. You kind of have to have perfect all the way up, but that is your that is your next priority. And I know some people who vow that it is better to ignore the seer initially and just go directly for the fourth turn and try and get it on like night uh, day or day three or day two even. Uh, but that is very aggressive, and I find that that strategy is very dependent on. Uh, not having a lot of runners because runners just move so fast and you don't have you need a little bit more buffer zone uh, for them now what was I thinking my plan was I'm kind of encouraged just to go for blood magic vampirism here I think I'm gonna do it because I, I don't think I have I don't think I have another way. We don't have enough mana on that character, and I need them to be able to cast. So let's see. So if we're doing that, our health is very important all of a sudden. Yes, it definitely does. It also depends what map you're playing, Scorpion, uh, when, how soon you want to. But yeah, you, 
like I generally find that ideally, right, you you need to get to a point in your in almost any of the campaigns where you have the two two one one setup, where you have two people that need some support, and then your people who can solo, and you really need some people who can solo. This character does not need. I mean, I'm tempted to go for just like, oh my gosh. All right, well, the things that we get isolated uh, are going to be good. And we're going to grab Vampirism just to try and offset that a little bit. The level up here is going to be range damage. And... This is our flexibility character. And they have two perk points, which means I think they get versatility? No, they don't. They get two from this tier. But they will get initiator, which is going to be huge. Uh, and that means we need to end every turn on a melee attack. Oh my gosh. That's going to be that's going to be difficult. And then crit is transportable across both. So I think I grab that. We need the mana regen as much as it makes me sad. And then I'll grab some accuracy. We pick up initiator and we pick up thrifty. Next time we get versatility. We're looking forward to that. I think two points could be very interesting. Another thing that I've thought a lot about, Lucas, that I think could be really cool is a map where there is an asset you have to protect that is moving. So the last spell is actually moving. Like, you know, it's on a train cart or something like that. I think would be really, uh, really interesting. Okay, as for our caster big damage we also had big crit there uh big skill range i think is very important here so i will take that and then i think i grab initiator here too because we have the we have the big wand and we want it to do some damage now unfortunately we are replacing catapults that uh that we have lost which is bad is this I thought I just saw a sensor that was full health. I guess I didn't. Now, we have 158 gold, which at this stage in the game, I think we I think we invest in a gold mine. And then we're broke. <laughs> uh so I I have I'm trying that right now, Scorpion. Uh, but this this is the first time in an APOC 5 run that I have tried. I do not think that it has huge legs. I, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a great strategy. Uh, and now I think being able to blaze with you is more important than than anything else, I think. Okay, so we have the catapults where we need them. So yeah, I, I think hybrid hybrids are really interesting. I want to see more hybrids. I think it's a super fun concept, but uh, I have not had great luck with them, except in kind of like low stakes runs where I'm just tinkering around. And you have 12 mana. Uh, maybe you really don't have enough mana. Eh, I think it's. I think it is what it is. 